Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to install this TF Luna LiDAR sensor on my drone frame for the obstacle avoidance guys. I have already done the unboxing of this TF Luna LiDAR sensor guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we start with the soldering, let me give you an overview on how I'm going to connect this LiDAR sensor onto my flight controller, guys. As you know, guys, from left to right, it is pin number one to six. So pin number one is five volt, pin number two is RX, pin number three is TX, and pin number four is ground. Five and six, guys, as we do not need it, to be in the I2C mode. I am not going to connect anything on the last two pins. That is all four pin guys that I am going to use to connect this LiDAR sensor onto the free UART of my flight controller. So here on the screen guys, you can see the circuit diagram as well in a way which I am going to connect. I am going to connect this LiDAR sensor onto my free UART port three and then I'm going to power it up using 5 volt and ground which is available on my flight controller. Before we can do that guys, as you know it comes with this JST connection guys. So let's put the JST pin inside first. Ensure that guys you attach it in a way that you do not damage the pins inside. So let's quickly do that. So here you can see guys, the red one is my power supply. The black one is going to be my ground and then there are two more blue wires that is my TX and RX. RX being the nearer to the red and TX being nearer to the black. So that is how I'm going to do it. On the other side guys you also have a GST connection since I do not need it. Let's cut it out. Let's keep enough length guys so as to be able to connect it to the flight controller. So I'm going to cut this out from here so this is enough length guys for me to be able to connect it to my flight controller guys so now let's quickly go and connect it to the flight controller so guys here on my flight controller i have tx3 and rx3 and then 5 volt and ground that is how i am going to power this up 5 volt here ground here tx here rx pin which is pin number two of my lighter and then this is my RX3 which is going to be pin number 3 which is TX on my LiDAR and then pin number 1 is 5 volt and pin number 4 is ground. So that is how I am going to connect. So my 5 volt and ground is already 10 guys. Let's quickly tin the TX and RX pin. So guys, all my pins are now tinned as you can see. Now let's quickly connect this. So the second one is RX and third one is TX. So let's first connect TX to RX. So here you can see guys, I am able to connect these two wires here to the near the red one was RX is going to TX3 and the other one is going to RX3. Now let's quickly connect the power and ground. So this is my ground and the red one is power. Let's quickly connect them. Let's connect the ground first. So the ground is going to be here like this. So as you can see guys, I have successfully soldered the power supply as well, 5 volt and ground. So my lighter connection is finished. So the last two wires which were of no connection has been left out. So let's quickly install this guys. To install this guys onto the frame guys, I have already cut out this mount guys. So as to be able to mount this slider on top of this like this. And then you have the holes and these are going to be held on to the top side frame of the flight controller guys. So let's quickly mount this using M.2 screws and nuts. First let's tighten this slider up. Let's put this here on the top so that the hole matches and then from the other side guys if you have the nuts that is fine but i have the standoffs guys i think that would do too so let me put two standoffs one like this and another one is going to be similarly 
the small standoffs that I'm going to tighten them up. So as you can see guys, LiDAR is properly mounted on top of this tin plate that I have cut out from the tin can for the beverage. So now let's put the top side mount guys here so that we can install this holder onto the top. So this is the top side mount guys. Let's put the top side mount first. So like this. So that is how we are going to hold this guys. Let's put some screws to hold it at its place. Now back to screws first. So that the frame holds this one here like this. Now let's quickly align this slider like this onto the top. Now let's put the screws the front to first. Now let's put the second one here, matching the hole. So that the base plate holds guys. So let's quickly tighten them up. So the front two screws are done. Now let's do the back side screws. So guys, this finishes the build. As you can see guys, I have successfully installed the LiDAR sensor onto the front side of my drone frame guys. With this guys, I am going to do the obstacle avoidance onto my drone guys. All those software settings guys, I will be doing in my future videos. So ensure that guys, you stay tuned to my channel for my future videos. So this concludes the tutorial on how to install the LiDAR sensor onto your drone frame guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.